Hey there. Welcome to Dragon Scale Hobbies. We are back with our Belisardius Claw build and paint. So yesterday, or last time rather, we primed him along with Horticulus Lynx. Slimix? Slimix? I'll figure out how to pronounce that eventually. Same with Belisarius Qual. So today we are actually going to start real painting. Yay! All of this has just been built up to this point. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our airbrush. We're gonna go work on the robes. We're gonna lay in some pre-shading in the folds and stuff so we don't have to worry about it too much in the future and let's see what else can we do today i have something special to do with the metallics but that's not going to happen today so yeah i think we're just going to focus on the robes today see if we can get them to a point where they're ready to receive a wash Okay, so first things first, pre-shade. Very first thing I want to do is I want to put some black into the airbrush. If I have any left, I might be all out of black. Am I out of black? And that one is empty. Oh, this one has some in it. Okay. Just put some into the pot. We don't need a lot. Just a couple of drops of flow improver into the cup. And back bubble. That's where you mix it with its own air. Okay, so last time we had the compressor going and it was just far too, too loud. I even had to enable super noise reduction activation with extra super power in editing, and it was still pretty loud. So today we're going without the compressor. We've filled up the tank, because I have my compressor hooked up to a tank. And so we're just going to paint as is. And hopefully that will work a little better. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Still learning to remember to do things. I did a full clip of stuff where I brought the high lights back out, but I forgot to focus the camera. So it was just a blurry blob. So I just took some white, mixed it in with a mostly cleaned out black pot, mix it up, it turned into this nice little gray. And from this gray, I will be able to put a red on. Trying to put a red on a black is very, very difficult. So now I can just lay a nice red on without having to worry about it. Okay, so we've got our base coat laid in. There's some really light transition between the light and the dark, if you can see. So now we're going to move on to our first highlight, just a bit of a brighter red. And then we're going to go with 
and just start adding a little bit of this orange to the red. And then, uh, or do we want to do it another way? I've recently read somewhere that an alternative to highlighting with an orange is to go with a flesh color, which is kind of um, intriguing to me. So I might end up going that way. I'll try it, and if it fails, well, we're learning, right? Okay, so now we've added our first red highlight and I've decided that yeah I'm going to try out the flesh tone highlighting so I'm going to take some just regular flesh tone mix it in with what's left of the red in the pot if you can see that from anywhere and see how it looks because I'm kind of interested to see how it comes out now we're going to do this very very lightly because we want a nice deep red, but we still want to see it in on ridges in summer. So we did that highlight, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring some of that red back in and then we're going to give it a wash. And what are we going to wash it with? We're going to do a purple and we'll see how that turns out. The airbrushing on the robe is finished. Now we're going to make our deep purple wash. And the dog is barking. What is the dog barking at? I don't know. Well, to make the wash, just take, I like to use uh, laundry detergent cups for mixing stuff. They're nice and deep. They have lots of capac capacity. They're cheap, well, free, and they're easy to clean. So just put a few drops of paint into the cup and then take some flow improver and just water it down until you think it's roughly right. I'm going to choose a brush from the brush stand. I don't want to go overly overdone, but I don't want anything too small either. So I think I'm going to go with my medium-ish wash brush. Mix it up. And just test the mix. I want it to be a little bit more subtle than that. want it to be too overpowering or else it's gonna give me way too much work later. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now we're just going to go and brush as much of the excess off as possible. I'm just gonna go into the creases. 